Every day, thousands of teachers deliver the exact same lesson in class to millions of students. Every night, millions of students sit over the exact same homework trying to figure out how to solve it. The flipped classroom is turning this upside down. But what is a flipped classroom exactly? In flipped classrooms, also known as inverted classrooms, students review lecture materials before class as homework. In-class time is dedicated to discussions, interactive exercises, and independent work that would have previously been completed at home, all under the guidance of the teacher who is present and available to respond to any questions that may arise. The materials reviewed prior to class can take the form of recorded lectures, curated videos, reading assignments, video broadcasts, any material that the instructor assigns as relevant to the topic at hand. This may sound verbose, but as we go through the lesson, you might just get it all quite all right. Let's start with the overview. Students and teachers are now facing the new normal kind of education, which is the blended learning. There are various levels to which a blended learning approach can be taken. The flipped classroom is one approach which transforms traditional lectures into an interactive problem-solving session. Math classes also previously relied on skill building and conceptual understanding activities. Today, teachers are realizing that writing during a math lesson is more than just a way to document information. It is a way to deepen student learning and a tool for helping students gain new perspectives. So in this video, we will discuss how educators can engage students in both face-to-face -face and online learning as components of blended learning. We will also go through the different writing to learn strategies. These are all essential concepts as it will help us learn how it will facilitate the teaching and learning process in mathematics education. To help us determine the focus of this video, here are the learning outcomes. After watching this video, you are expected to first, discuss what is blended classroom learning. Second, discuss how blended classroom instruction can be effective in teaching and learning mathematics. Third, discuss how writing to learn techniques facilitate learning in mathematics teaching. And for the last one, construct writing to learn worksheet. The first topic that we're going to discuss is the blended classroom learning. So what is blended classroom learning? Blended classroom learning is a style of education in which students learn via electronic and online media as well as traditional face-to-face -face teaching. This teaching method incorporates digital learning with traditional teaching methods, creating a blend between teacher-lead and student-driven learning. With this type of environment, educators are seeing increased engagement among students and efficiency among teachers. Some related practices influencing in this topic are blended education, e-learning, remote learning, hybrid learning, and flipping the classroom. All of these practices involve learning, the concept of place or distance, and the use of technology. Most professors in blended classrooms use some version of a course management system application to connect with students online. Blackboard and Model are perhaps two of the best known LMS applications used today but slowly are being supplemented or bested by cloud-based content and learning management systems. Through platforms like this, students can access videos of lectures, track assignments and progress, interact with professors and peers, and review other supporting materials like PowerPoint presentations or scholarly articles. Even if all professors use the same platform, however, they could each integrate them into their classrooms differently. Professors could supplement traditional coursework with online media in the classroom or simply alternate between online and classroom instruction. 
In this method, teachers and professors use online media to deliver notes, lectures, and related course materials. Students review these materials at home and at their own pace. Classroom periods are then transformed into hands-on work periods where the teacher is free to field questions, engage class-wide discussions, or offer other means of support. Blended learning classes produce statistically better results than face-to-face non-hybrid equivalents. This may be partly due to the fact that this rapidly growing model not only increases the flexibility and individualization of student learning experiences, but also allows teachers to expand the time to spend as facilitators of learning. That ends our discussion with the blended classroom learning. We will now proceed to the models of blended learning. Blended learning can be grouped into six distinct models that vary by teacher roles, physical space, delivery methods, and scheduling. However, as new versions of blended learning are developed, the relationships between these models will evolve. Presented in this video is a preliminary classification of the blended learning models currently in use. First is the face-to-face -face driver. Of all the blended learning models, face-to-face -face driver is the closest to a typical school structure. With this approach, the introduction of online instruction is decided on a case-by-case -case basis, meaning only certain students in a given class will participate in any form of blended learning. This approach also allows the students who are struggling or working above their grade level to progress at their own pace using technology in the classroom. In this model, face-to-face -face teachers deliver most of the curriculum. A physical teacher employs online learning in a technology lab or the back of the classroom to supplement. The second model is the rotation. In this form of blended learning, students rotate between different stations on a fixed schedule, either working online or spending face-to-face -face time with the teacher. The rotational model is widely used in elementary schools. It was determined to be an effective means of increasing the achievement of students. Students rotated between learning labs where they used intelligent adaptive learning software to learn concepts in a traditional classroom. Through this, students became more active learners and often challenged themselves to work harder and learn material that had not yet been introduced in their classroom. Third is the flex model. Schools that are supporting a large number of non-traditional or at-risk students often choose the flex model of blended learning. With this approach, material is primarily delivered online. All the teachers are in the room to provide on-site support as needed. Learning is primarily self-guided, as students independently learn and practice new concepts in a digital environment. Next is the online lab model. As the school space increasingly tight resource constraints, the online lab model of blended learning is a viable option for helping students complete courses, including those not offered at the specific school site. In this scenario, students learn entirely online but travel to a dedicated computer lab to complete their coursework. This not only allows schools to offer courses for which they have no teacher or not enough teachers, but also allows students to work at a pace and in a subject area that suits them without affecting the learning environment of other students. In this model, students in need of intervention had more face time with teachers and the school's second and third graders demonstrated improved math skills. The fifth model is the self-blend. Popular in high schools, the self-blend model gives students the opportunity to take classes behind what is already offered at their school. While these individuals will attend a traditional school environment, they also opt to supplement their learning through online courses offered remotely. In order for this method of blended learning to be successful, students must be highly self-motivated. Self-blend is ideal for the student who wants to take additional advanced placement courses or who has interest in a subject area that is not covered in the traditional course catalog. 
The sixth and the last model is the online driver. Online driver model is a form of blended learning in which students work remotely and material is primarily delivered via an online platform. Although face-to-face -face check ins are optional, students can usually chat with teachers online if they have questions. This model of blended learning is ideal for students who need more flexibility and independence in their daily schedules. So now that you have learned about the blended classroom learning and its models, we are now going to discuss the blended classroom instruction and its significance in mathematics education. Recent trends in education show that digital platforms are playing a vital role in enhancing teaching, learning, and research. In mathematics education, many mathematicians acknowledge the value and importance of a blended learning approach in teaching mathematics, taking advantage of the different mathematical software that can be used in teaching. Blended and flipped learning places the onus on students to engage with online material and encourages students to take ownership of their learning. To be successful, the model requires students to develop the skills to self-regulate their own performance and become aware of the gaps in their understanding of complex conceptual tasks. Thus, the designer of online learning resources has a responsibility to produce components that promote self-directed or self-regulated learning. This model of learning may or may not be achievable for weak students who lack prerequisite skills. So it is an issue that has occupied mathematics educators for some time. Blended learning also offers other innovative ways for students to learn and engage with mathematics through their capacity to enable learning anywhere and anytime through blended approaches, as well as the ability to capture, annotate, and share multimedia. There are ranges of pedagogical opportunities and implications afforded by the use of digital technologies that extend beyond the nature of the tools and software apps utilized to the learning intentions of the teacher and the ways in which students interact with the technologies and with each other. Each of these implications creates opportunities to influence the teaching practice in mathematics classrooms. Digital devices provide tools that are dynamic, graphical, and interactive, providing students with opportunities to explore mathematical objects from different but interlinked perspectives, where the relationships that are case for mathematical understanding are highlighted, made more tangible and manipulable. Integrating blended learning effectively into mathematics teaching and learning is a complex task requiring the consideration of many elements, including pedagogy, content, and student learning. Uses of blended learning in mathematics can be ineffective, destructive, or even dangerous when not integrated into the learning process in meaningful ways. This is why online learning environments provide affordances that could allow mathematics teachers to redefine practices as they currently occur in mathematics classrooms, disrupting traditional methods to mediate meaningful student-student and student-teacher interactions through blended and flipped learning approaches. At its most basic, the blended classroom approach is intended to make better use of classroom time. Rather than expose students to new materials within mathematics lessons, the students are expected to access pre-prepared materials before their lessons. Pre-learning occurs outside the classroom, and class time is then used to maximize opportunities for teacher-student interaction, collaboration, provision of remediation, and application of the learning that occurs off-site. The blended learning approach includes variations that range from the simple provision of direct instruction via the use of video lectures, through to an approach where learning can be individualized according to student needs. Pre-prepared le lesson materials can range from teacher-produced videos and screencasts to the provision of mathematics resources produced with software such as GeoGebra and the use of instructional videos created by others such as Khan Academy and WuChu. The COVID-19 pandemic we're facing right now forced many teachers across the globe to make a sudden switch from face-to-face -to, -face to online teaching. This shift in practice has provided an opportunity to reconsider how technology used in mathematics education can be utilized 
to improve student engagement. Student learning experience in mathematics can be enhanced through a variety of blended learning approaches by allowing for diverse points of access to learning opportunities which are more closely aligned to individual learning needs and free from the temporal constraints of the classroom. Although some view the use of blended instruction as an educational imperative, there were still many questions regarding how and when it should be used and whether its use transformed and improved the student experience says of math. The educational crisis caused by COVID-19 also resulted in teachers being forced to rely on blended instruction as a prime teaching and learning resource regardless of their existing technology-related beliefs and practices. This forced and sudden change could be viewed as an opportunity for significant shifts to occur in how mathematics educators use technology in future face-to-face, -face, online, and blended classroom teaching. Now that we are done with the discussion about blended learning, we will now proceed to writing to learn strategies. Writing is critical to every single subject. Even mathematics often calls for argumentation in written form, especially in disciplines such as statistics. A writing to learn strategy is one that teachers employ throughout and or at the end of a lesson to engage students and develop big ideas and concepts. It fosters critical thinking, requiring analysis, application, and other higher level thinking skills. It is writing that uses impromptu, short, or informal writing tasks designed by the teacher and included throughout the lesson to help students think through key contents, concepts, and ideas. Attention is focused on ideas rather than correctness of style, grammar, or spell. It is less structured in disciplinary writing. This approach frequently uses journals, logs, micro-themes, responses to written or oral questions, summaries, free writing, notes, and other writing assignments that align the learning ideas and concepts. Teachers often find it difficult to integrate writing and mathematics while honoring the integrity of both disciplines at the same time. Teachers of writing might say that if students are assigned to describe the process, the use in solving a problem with no revision or editing, the quality of integration is drawn into question. Teachers of mathematics might say that if students are asked to write a report on a famous mathematician, they may not be engaged in developing mathematical reasoning no matter how many drafts they write. Although the appropriate balance may be elusive, the endeavor is nevertheless worthy of being undertaken. In order for writing in mathematics to impact in student learning, it must be more than just copying the notes given in class. Information must be personalized in some way. The students must be expected to include reflections and questions when they write. By making these personal connections, the students will begin to develop a conceptual understanding of the mathematics they are exploring in their studies. Since you now have an idea on what writing to learn strategy is, we will now proceed to the different writing to learn strategies. The first is descriptive writing. Descriptive writing's main purpose is to describe. It is a style of writing that focuses on describing a character, an event, or a place in great detail. It can be poetic when the author takes time to be very specific in his or her descriptions. One way in mathematical descriptive writing is to write a detailed description of a problem-solving process. The second writing to learn strategy is expository writing. Expository writing, as the word suggests, is predicated on exposition or the description and explanation of a particular idea. Topics cover pretty much the intergamoth of human experience, from inventions to nature, emotions to politics, family to hobbies, and more. Writers use the expository style when they are trying to explain a concept. It is fact-based and doesn't include the author's opinions or background. Hence, it's basically giving facts from the writer to the reader. Expository writing in particular plays a crucial role in the transmission of ideas and the introduction of new mathematics to the community. The importance of communicating mathematics clearly and effectively is evident in many ways in which mathematicians must write, whether to produce technical reports, 
expository articles, book reviews, essays, reference reports, grant proposals, research papers, job applications, or evaluations. Third is the cause and effect writing. It is often considered human nature to ask why and how. We want to know how our child got sick so we can better prevent it from happening in the future or why a colleague received a pay raise because we want one as well. We want to know how much money we will save over the long term if we buy a hybrid car or how long we will live if we can exercise daily. These examples identify only a few of the relationships we think about in our lives but each shows the importance of understanding cause and effect. The purpose of the cause and effect writing is to determine how various phenomena relate in terms of origins and results. Sometimes, the connection between cause and effect is clear, but often determining the exact relationship between the two is very difficult. Generally, this type of writing discusses both causes and effects, but it can also present only either one of the two. Moreover, a cause and effect writing in mathematics may involve the usage of specific data and formulas in order to present a clear conclusion. You need to use professional language to present the ideas persuasively. It can be stated that an effective writing in mathematics is based on precise data and analysis that allows making logical and clear arguments. An example of this writing is a cause and effect relationship between high wages and inflation. The fourth strategy is persuasive writing. Persuasive writing is a non-fiction writing that encourages careful word choice, the development of logical arguments, and a cohesive summary. Note that there are two main components of persuasive writing, which is logic and emotional appeal. Logic comes first in persuasive writing. In order to have any chance of convincing people, students have to develop a sound premise. That means choosing a topic and backing it up with good logic. One way in mathematical persuasive writing is to write a persuasive essay about the importance of mathematics in our daily lives. The last is the narrative writing. Narrative writing is defined as writing that is characterized by a main character in a setting who engages with a problem or event in a significant way. As writing instruction goes, narrative writing encompasses a lot author's purpose, tone, voice, structure, in addition to teaching sentence, structure, organization, and word choice. Writers who use the narrative style are telling a story with a plot and characters. It's the most common writing style for fiction, although non-fiction can also be narrative writing as long as its focus is on characters, what they do, and what happens to them. One way of accomplishing a mathematical narrative essay is to relate the story of the evolution of the abacus through ancient, middle, and modern times. We are already done with the discussion. To refresh your memories with the concepts introduced in this video, here are the highlights. Blended classroom learning is a style of education in which students learn via electronic and online media as well as traditional face-to-face -face teaching. In mathematics education, Many mathematicians acknowledge the value and importance of a blended learning approach in teaching mathematics, taking advantage of the different mathematical software that can be used in teaching. The commonly used blended learning models are face-to-face -face driver model, rotation model, flexed model, online lab model, self-blend model, and online driver model. A writing to learn strategy is one that teachers employ throughout and or at the end of a lesson to engage students and develop big ideas and concepts. It fosters critical thinking, requiring analysis, application, and other higher level thinking skills. It is writing that uses impromptu, short, or informal writing tasks designed by the teacher and included throughout the lesson to help students think through key concepts and ideas. The different writing to learn strategies are descriptive, expository, cause and effect, persuasive, and narrative writing. To provide feedback of your learning in this video, here are the assessment tasks. Answer the following questions comprehensively.
For further understanding the different topics included in this video, you may refer to the following links.